The uh, Southeast Alaska Discovery Center is a public lands information center. It's uh, just a couple minutes from the cruise ship dock and it was funded by Congress to provide information to all Americans about the uh, public lands of Alaska. So they have exhibits on the native cultures, uh, recreation, ecosystems, and uh, the resources of Alaska. Uh, the Clinket, Haida, and Simpson, they, ha they had their villages. Um, they picked the village site very carefully. You'd want to see way off in the distance to see any war parties coming. You'd have to have a sandy beach where you could pull your dugout canoe right up to the front door of your community house. And uh, they'd want freshwater source of drinking water and it would not be a salmon spawning stream. The rock fish trap uh, was at the mouth of the river. Usually they had to have a large uh, estuary area there where they'd take large boulders and stack them three foot high. So as the salmon swam in with the tide, and then the tide went out, they would get trapped behind the rock wall. And then the men would go in and harvest the salmon, and then the women would fillet them and hang them to dry. There wasn't any part of the fish that was wasted. The, uh, the king salmon in particular, the head is uh, still one of the choice parts of the salmon that the natives enjoy and uh, the tail could be roasted by the fire and the backbone so they didn't waste in any part of the salmon. Oh yeah, the eyeballs are one of the best part. Probably doesn't sound very good, but if you're raised that way, they're, they're delicious. Alaska Natives, we had a real close relationship and still do with the animals. Carving that we do with the totem poles and the adze was our preferred carving tool. It's a V-shaped at a 45 degree angle, the blade here and the handle here, it's actually the same angle that the beaver tooth is connected to its skull. So everything, the way the animals did it, we mimicked and copied and had a huge impact on our society.